I believe the self-driving car has very strong environmental implications, safety, social. It'll really fundamentally transform how many of us live. Congestion is a major problem for pretty much every city in the world. We're just not operating cars very efficiently. When you think about cars, um, they have transformed the cities, everything else. They cause traffic jams. There's a lot of congestion. A peak capacity highway, a highway that's really functioning, has only 6% cars on it, and 94% is the space between the cars that we need because we humans, we are not that great a driver. Imagine a future where your highways actually work. You go on a highway with your car, and left of you is a group of very close distance cars coming by, and you push a button, it opens up, and you merge in, and then you push a second button, and all of a sudden the car drives itself, all the cars line up very closely to you. You're now in a train. And the train uses the aerodynamics of a train, but it frees your time. Now imagine we fill the highway with cars and pack 50% of the surface, which means all of a sudden we have almost no congestions anymore. We would be able to do away with almost all traffic jams. I started to realize we can actually build cars that are safe and cars that can drive themselves. Cars are as safe as their drivers are. We text while driving, we do all kinds of uh, things that, that distract us from the driving tasks. Almost all accidents in the United States are caused by lack of attention or driver errors. Now with self-driving technology, I think it's kind of the holy grail um, for that specific problem, which is we, we will be able to uh, give people the mobility that they want without uh, exposing themselves and others to the dangers that come with the fact that they're not quite able to operate motor vehicles. The biggest challenge we face is to make it really safe. We recently had a situation where a plastic bag blew across the highway and the car thought it was a kid flying across the highway. And it sounds funny and it was certainly something we could fix very quickly, but these type of situations, humans are just really brilliant and cars have a hard time, to be honest. So I believe there's an entire universe of amazing ideas to be developed. And I wish I lived 200 years later to see them come to fruition, but now is the time to start working on them.